Hello and welcome everyone to Hattie Larlam's Help Give Hope Facebook Live event. If you don't know me already, my name's Betsy Kling. I'm the Chief Meteorologist and 5 p.m. anchor for WKYC in Cleveland, and I'm so honored to be here on your screen tonight as Hattie Larlam wraps up its 2020 Help Give Hope fundraising campaign. As you may know, Hattie Larlam made the difficult decision to cancel its annual circle of Caring Gala. Instead, they've decided to create this online campaign to help raise needed funds for critical programs and services they provide every Every single day to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Over the last seven days, Hattie Larlam has been sharing stories of hope, love, and kindness across its digital channels. You've been seeing Facebook posts and YouTube videos, Instagram photos, and probably an email or two. We've been hearing from families and board members, Hattie Larlam staff, medical team, and direct care providers, and even directly from the people with disabilities served by Hattie Larlam. Hopefully, you've been inspired by these stories and shared them to your own network of friends and family. The purpose of all of this online fund this week has been to raise awareness for the important work done by Hattie Larlam and to encourage our followers to make a special donation to support their mission and ensure they're able to continue that work long into the future. Your donations this week and tonight are really helping to give hope for brighter futures for people with disabilities here in Northeast Ohio and Central Ohio. Here's the really great part. All donations made this week and tonight will be matched by the Hattie Larlam Board of Directors. So your gift of hope will be doubled, going even further to create opportunities for the people served by Hattie Larlam. You can make your donation by heading over to the website now. Take a look down in the comments section for the link. If you click, it'll open a new window and you can go ahead and make your donation right now. You can also text Hattie to 24547 to make your donation. And I've had the pleasure of being a part of the Hattie Larlam extended family since 2004. I'm so privileged to be the circle of caring honoree from 2012. It means a great deal to me to be a part of an organization that provides comfort, joy, and achievements to more than 1,600 children and adults with disabilities throughout Northeast and Central Ohio every day. And Hattie Larlam couldn't do all their great work without the support of their sponsors. So let's thank our generous campaign sponsors right now. And now on with the show. Your support of this campaign today will help give hope for stronger families like the Billington family, who you're gonna meet right now. Harry was born with profound uh, brain damage at birth and she was suffering from seizures under the day of the beginning, going into the hospital, getting pneumonia, getting all sorts of um, problems with her respiratory system and um, it became harder and harder for us to manage that. I was in a parent group at United Cerebral Palsy and she was getting therapy there and uh, the social worker that was running our therapy said, uh, you know, now that you've got two boys, one older, one younger, and Carrie's not doing well on vacations, I've got a place for us to look at. You can do respite care there or full-time care. And of course, as a special ed teacher, I was no, 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 no. But I came and this place was so beautiful. We started out with a few weekends and um, a vacation or two, and then she moved in. It was the right place at the right time. It went pretty well for us, didn't it, Pete? Absolutely. Here, there wasn't any guilt. We just felt so good from the first time we brought Carrie. The love and the care and the family atmosphere that this facility had. It's been the best thing for our family. And especially in that 80% of all parents with handicapped children end up divorced. Hattie Larlam saves marriages, it saves families, it saves the entire concept of of what is important in life. And Hattie has been that for us and we will forever be grateful. It also helped our family. Her brothers were able to come and spend time with her. My mother spent every Sunday here. 
as long as she was able to. And she would just love coming. She would help um, the gals cut hair and then she would go take Carrie out for a walk and then do lunch and just have a wonderful time here. So everybody in our family was accepted and and welcomed, which was a great relief to us. I'm hoping that Hattie Larlow provides as much happiness and help to other families as they provided for us. We also hope that it really is able to expand for every type of disabled disability, not only the profound like here at the campus, but for those who need help out in the community. That's the long-term goal for Hattie, and all the donations that we're able to get from the people will make that possible. Thank you so much to the entire Billington family. Carrie is receiving outstanding care at Hattie Larlam, thanks to support from donors like you. Let's check in quick to see how much we've raised so far during the Help Give Hope campaign. That is so fantastic. Thank you to everyone who's donated so far. Don't forget, all donations made this week are being matched by the Hattie Larlam Board of Directors, so your gift will be doubled and go twice as far to help give hope to people served by Hattie Larlam and their families who rely on them every day. So make your donation now to be part of the match. Click the link in the comments or text Hattie to 24547 right now. And now it's time for a few stories to warm your heart. First, you'll meet my friend, Dr. Richard Grossberg, Medical Director for the Hattie Larlam Center for Children with Disabilities. And you're going to hear firsthand how your support allows Hattie Larlam to provide the very best in medical care to all the people it serves. Then you're going to learn how the direct care staff and housekeeping team at Hattie Larlam are the frontline, hardworking heroes that deserve recognition and high fives every single day. And finally, you're going to hear about Hattie's Employment Services Program and how it helps give hope for people with disabilities achieving their career goals. I'll be back in just a few minutes. At our main campus in Manway, we have around 126 individuals that live in this facility. In order to understand the population that we serve, I think probably the most common denominator that puts everybody together is that there was a brain injury and usually in most of the kids that we take care of, that brain injury happens sometime during pregnancy or shortly after pregnancy. So as a result of the brain injury, most of the children that we serve have a host of medical problems. Those include cognitive disabilities, usually on the more severe end, so profound to severe intellectual disability, and the majority of the individuals we serve due to their brain injury are non-ambulatory. So they require a wheelchair to get around and, and, and need really 24 seven assistance to accomplish activities of daily living. But Hattie Larlam is a big organization. We serve several thousand people, really not only in Northeast Ohio, but now heading down into Central Ohio and the Columbus area. So we do serve people on a spectrum. And I think the best way to understand that is to think about a spectrum of medical complexity and a spectrum of behavioral complexity. So while I described a population at the center that has significant cognitive impairments and severe disabilities, some even needing ventilators, in our group homes, we may see kids that may not have that need of technology like a ventilator, but many of them are not ambulatory, may still need a G-tube to eat. But on the milder end of the spectrum, we may see kids with intellectual disability, or not necessarily kids, I should say adults, but who need just some basic assistance with activities of daily living, but can ambulate and maybe even work in the community and don't have as severe medical problems as some of the individuals that live at the center. When you move into other services where we may just provide rehab uh, or vocational services or day programming or vocational employment, you're looking at less and less uh, intensity of disability and more and more individuals who may just have mild cognitive impairments and maybe even a few or if any medical problems. What we do here at Hattie Larlam, I would say we're really one of a handful of facilities in the country that can 
provide this level of care for this kind of level of disability. We have learned our, our, our uh, important mission is about comfort, joy, and achievement. So it's not just about providing health. We want to see a health-related quality of life. And that comes from all of the programs that we have. We have physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, recreational therapy. We have an amazing creative arts program. We have a school and a vocational program. And you can see this creates a quality of life, not just health. Health is important, we need that. But folks need to have more than just health. They need to be able to have a quality of life. And that's the beauty of Hattie Larlam. We offer all of those things to really dramatically improve the quality of life of those that we serve. All of this requires funding beyond the reimbursement level that we get from Medicaid. So we do rely on philanthropy to fill that gap. And if we're going to expand our services, we're gonna need more philanthropy to fill that gap as well. If I was a donor, you know, this is a population that can't speak for themselves. Most of our residents are nonverbal. Many of them, sadly, don't have family members that can always advocate for them and increase support and funding for such a population. So if I could be a voice to get donors to understand and appreciate how valuable their funding and donation would be to serve such a population with great need, I'm happy to be that voice. I had the privilege of giving a tour to Tom Zenti, who is the departing CEO of University Hospitals of Cleveland. And we had a, a pretty emotional experience touring him through the building. And he sent me an email a couple of days after the visit. And he said while he was walking around, he was reminded by a, a verse from scripture that said, he who takes care of the least brethren and how that impacted him. That has always stayed with me, that email that he sent to me. And I think that captures a lot and I think would appeal to people who are considering donating to us. We really do take care of the least among us. And I think that makes us worthy as a, as a, as a charity of choice. My position at Hattie Larlam is Vice President of Hattie Larlam Center for Children with Disabilities. I oversee the five ICF group homes and the center, which is also an ICF. And I also oversee our compliance program, which includes quality improvement services. I've always felt that the staff who work at Hattie Larlam have been very dedicated, very committed. Um, I do believe that most staff that work here are very committed to the vision and mission of Hattie Larlam. Uh, during the COVID pandemic and also before. I've always felt that the staff that work at Hattie Larlam have been true heroes, and that is a term that you hear quite a bit with this pandemic. Through it all, we've been essential workers, especially the direct care staff that work in all Hattie Larlam locations. Some additional changes um, in addition to the health screening questions for employees, um, in particular at the center and our residential living areas and the homes, is really focused on social distancing whether that be limiting staff going on the units, closing the doors, um, having school come on the units versus individuals going out the units to go to school. Same with day programming. Um, some of our day programs have had to shut down through this pandemic, which was an order uh, directed by the state. But at the center in particular, we have an ACHIEVE program and we have limited staff going on the units and um, again, keeping those individuals from leaving the unit so that they can go to their D program. I think for staff, you know, probably some of the most difficult things throughout the pandemic is really doing the things that we used to do with individuals, such as going outside, going to the playground, taking them on walks in their wheelchair, always trying to maintain that distance, um, eating with them, being real close with them. Just keeping that space has really been challenging, but I do think staff have done a very good job navigating through this uh, over the past several months. I am hopeful for Hattie Larlam that we continue to grow our services but grow them in a way that makes sense for the organization. Always shooting for high quality services, commitment from all employees. I think that's the, the premise of what we do here. As long as our services are based on high quality um, and providing what we need to do for those that we serve, 
I think that we're going to do very well in our future. Me and my staff can keep this uh, the building clean, sanitized. Um, it's a long haul every day. It's non-stop. We do from one end of the building to the other, um, both residence areas and all public areas. I have a great staff. Um, I couldn't rely on anyone any better. They go way above and beyond, and you can ask them to do anything. And it's not just me asking them, it's any department. They just call and ask us to do something, and we're Johnny on the spot. They don't hesitate, they just go and do the work, which is great. They step up, you know, and I have a good lead. Lisa does an excellent job, and I think I can say that it's our team that did it that really made a difference, I think. I'm not saying all of it, because it's across the board, everybody. And the masks help, and the social distancing. And it's a little bit of all of it, but it's a team effort through the whole building. Um, I, I love my job. I do. Um, it's very satisfying. My biggest satisfaction with housekeeping is when I hear that people come in and say how clean the place is. It's a big thing to hear. It's a, uh, and I, whenever I hear it, I make sure I pass it on because it's them that are doing the work. I'm just guiding them. They're doing all the hard work. And it makes me appreciate them even more. Um, my, my full name is Albert Clark Van Kirk, the fourth and, and um, um, the pa compassion, um, compassion King Pan companion. What's your favorite part about working here? Um, working with all types of of dogs and getting to know their their different cultures. What are some job skills you've learned here? Um, um, the, um, how to, um, clean, clean, clean rooms fast and, and make sure, make sure, um, everything is a proper clean up for, for, for the, um, for the next crew that comes in after, after I'm done. Yeah. What's your favorite part about working here? Um, um, now I, I, um, do, um, training up front on Fridays, um, 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 helping, um, the job coaches bring up the dogs for the homework. So you're learning customer service? Yes, I've been learning that for over a year now. Do you think you've gotten better at it? Um, um, very good because the owners trust, trust me on the, these, um, on their own dogs to bring them up. Do you have any career goals after doggy daycare? Um, um, I'm, I'm trying to work on on them. Do you think the things that you've learned here, the customer service and the responsibility, do you think that will help you in um, your next job? I, um, it will grow, grow, in, in, grow, grow with me and, and I will keep, keep the reminders that I, that I learned here.
All right, we're back. And those were some incredible stories of optimism and positivity. And hopefully they'll have inspired you to make a special donation in support of all the remarkable things happening at Hattie Larlam. You can make your donation right now by clicking on the link in the comments below or by texting Hattie to 24547. And now I'm going to turn things over for a bit to the person who oversees all of the extraordinary work done at Hattie Larlam, the CEO, Steve Kalecki. Thank you, Betsy, and thank you to everyone who has made this unique campaign and event so successful. As the CEO of Hattie Larlam, I can let you know that this year has been one of the most challenging situations we've ever experienced, but has also been one of the most uplifting. I've been able to witness firsthand how our dedicated staff at our various locations have tackled the challenges that we've been facing this year. We are all looking forward to the day when our program locations can fully reopen, our residents can get back out into the community, and families can once again hug their loved ones. But until then, our important work continues and our mission stays the same, providing comfort, joy, and achievement to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. As you heard from Dr. Grossberg, the important work that we do would not be possible without the generous support of donors like you. So thank you for your generous donations this week, which will allow us to move forward for the people and families who rely on us every day. We thank you for helping give hope for the brighter futures of everyone we serve. Before I turn things back to Betsy, I would like to take a moment to extend my thanks to the generous sponsors who made this entire campaign possible. Our platinum sponsor, One Digital. Our gold sponsors, Baird and Lakeside Sand and Gravel. Our silver sponsors, Ohio Cat, Plan Moran, and the law firm of Spangenberg, Shipley, and Liber. The Hattie Lardham Boards of Directors, who provided the match for this campaign, doubling the impact of all gifts made this week and tonight. And all of our other generous sponsors who supported the campaign. Thank you, and back to you, Betsy. Thank you, Steve. We are all looking forward to the day we can get back to normal. And I know the people you serve are really looking forward to seeing friends again and getting back to doing the things that make them happy and keep them engaged. In the meantime, of course, Hattie Larlam is still providing top-notch medical care and services to everyone they serve. And the need has not changed. Your support is still so needed. So I hope you'll take a few minutes right now and make your donation and support the mission of Hattie Larlam. They've been providing these critical services to people with disabilities for nearly 60 years, and your gift will ensure those needs can be met in the future. Your gift helps give hope for a bright and beautiful future. Thank you all for watching here tonight, and thank you for your donations. There's still time to make your gift. Just click in the comments below. There's a link there for you, or text Hattie to 4547. Please be sure to come back to Hattie Larlam's Facebook page tomorrow for an update on the total amount raised during this campaign. And don't forget, all donations are doubled through tonight. Thank you so much, and have a great night.